Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's solve this problem. So during the flag ceremony, a teacher asks his advisory class with 45 students to form a line according to height from shortest to tallest. One of the students, Tony, has a height that is in the 48th percentile. So assuming that none of the students has the same height, so, how many students are taller than Tony? So, first, we need to find the position of Tony. Since Tony is in the 48th percentile, so using the percentile formula, that's P sub K is equal to K over 100 or percentile times N plus 1. So, N is the total population since we have these 45 students. So, N is equal to 45. Then, since we're looking for the 48th percentile, so K is equal to 40. So, this one is 40 over 100. Then, times N is 45. Then, plus 1. So to solve now for the P40, so this one is 40 divided by 100. So this 45 plus 1, that's 46. So the position now of P40, so we have 40 divided by 100 equals then times 46, that's 18.4. So we have 18.4, so round off, so approximate to 18. So this 18 is the position of Tony. Since we want to know how many students that are taller than Tony, so from the total number of students, so we have this 45. Minus the position of Tony, minus 18. So 45 minus 18, that's 27. So therefore, 27 students are taller than Tony. Then for this problem, so Mrs. Santos' advisory class has 35 students. Then she made a report on the weight of each of the students. Roger, one of the students, has a weight which is in the 7th decile. So how many students have weight greater than him? So since 7th uh, decile, so using the decile formula, so, D sub K is equal to K over 10 for decile times N plus 1. So, N is equal to 35 since uh, 7 decile. So, K is equal to 7. So, D7 is equal to 7 over 10 times N is 35. Then plus 1. So to solve now for the position of Roger. So this one is 7 over 10 times 35 plus 1. This one is 36. So D7 now is equal to. So we have 7 divided by 10 equals then times 36. That's 25.2. So, the 7 is 25.2 or approximate to 25. So, this one is the position of Roger. So, therefore, to find the number of students that have weight greater than uh, Roger, so from the total number of students, that's 35 minus the position of Roger, that's 25. So 35 minus 25, that's 10. So
So therefore, 10 students have weight greater than Roger. Then for this problem, so Rodilin scores is in the 38th percentile in the second summative test. If the passing score is in the 4th decile, did she pass the test? Since the score of Rodilin is in the 38th percentile, that's 38th percentile, which is equal to 30%. And the passing score is in the fourth decile, which is equal to 40%. Since the score of Rodilin is less than the passing score, so therefore, Rodilin failed the test.